Welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in tech and for good reason. I mean, the world we live in today is nothing if not tech driven. We're all hearing the increasing instances of data breaches, cyber attacks, and concerns over privacy, which in turn has skyrocketed the demand for skilled cybersecurity professionals. Now, with so many people wanting to start their careers or pivot from their existing careers into the field of cybersecurity, that is one looming question in almost every conversation around on this subject. How do you break into this field? So with so many roles to consider, we decided to deep dive into some of the most popular cybersecurity career paths in this video to help you get a little insight so you can figure out which one of them interests you the most and best suits your skills. Let's start with one of the most common roles, a security analyst. Now, who is a security analyst and what does a day in their life look like? Security analysts are more often than not the first line of defense against cyber attacks. These individuals monitor networks and systems for signs of suspicious activity, investigate potential threats, and respond to security incidents. This is a highly reactive job where your job is to detect and stop attacks before they actually cause any damage. You need to be comfortable with monitoring tools, vulnerability management, and incident response. It's a job that requires a combination of both technical knowledge and critical thinking. Many people begin their journey in cybersecurity as security analysts and move up through the ranks by gaining certifications like CompTIA Security, CISSP, or Certified Ethical Hacker. Now next, we have the penetration testers, ethical hackers, or pen testers. These professionals stimulate cyber attacks to test the strengths of an organization's defenses. Think of them as like the friendly hacker who's trying to break into systems and find weaknesses before malicious actors can exploit them. So if you're someone who enjoys solving puzzles, writing codes, and diving deep into systems to find vulnerabilities, this could be an ideal role. To get started in this field, you need to have strong programming skills, knowledge of networks, and hands-on experience with hacking tools. Platforms like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me provide environments for newcomers to sharpen their skills and practice legal hacking techniques. Penetration testing can be both exciting and challenging, but one thing it is for sure, it requires a deep understanding of systems and the ability to think like a hacker. Then come the security engineers. These professionals are responsible for designing, implementing, and maintaining the security systems that protect an organization's infrastructure. Their job is more proactive than that of a security analyst because they build the frameworks, tools, and protocols to prevent attacks from happening in the first place. This could involve setting up firewalls, intrusion detection systems, or encryption protocols to manage things. Security engineers must also always stay ahead of the evolving cyber threats and they often work closely with IT teams to ensure security is integrated into every layer of the organization's infrastructure. So to be a successful engineer, you will obviously need to have the technical expertise you will also need to have a proactive mindset. These engineers often hold certifications like Certified Information Security Manager or Certified Ethical Hacker. Finally, let's talk about Chief Information Security Officers or CISOs, a senior leadership role that oversees the entire cybersecurity strategy of an organization. CISOs are responsible for managing risks, ensuring compliance, and leading the development of security policies and protocols of an organization. They collaborate with other executives and departments to ensure that cybersecurity is a priority at every level of the organization. Becoming a CISO obviously typically requires years of experience, as well as a deep understanding of both cybersecurity and business operations. You'll also need to have excellent communication skills and leadership skills because you will be responsible for managing a team and advising the C-suite executives on critical security matters. These are, however, just a few examples of the key roles in cybersecurity. But if you'd like to know more about other career avenues like incident responders, people who investigate and manage the aftermath of a cyber attack, or forensic specialists, who are responsible for gathering and analyzing digital evidence to determine how a breach occurred, let me know in the comment section below and we will see you with another video. Until then, here's something to think about. Are you more drawn to hands-on technical work or would you prefer leadership roles? And most importantly, why do you want to get into the field of cybersecurity? Because 
while there is a cybersecurity career path for almost every personality type and every individual, the key is to finding the one that best matches your skill sets along with your interests because this is a challenging industry. But what if you don't want a full-time 9-to-5 job and prefer something a little more flexible? Well, that will take us to the part 2 of this series where we will explore cybersecurity side hustle for people who have flourishing careers in other industries industries but love the industry of cybersecurity and want to become a part of it if not in full capacity so watch this space for our next video thank you and please keep watching cybersecurity tv